All right, well, today in Mr. Brian's Amazing World, doing something never thought we'd ever do. We're gonna try to build a ventilator. And uh, obviously with what's going on with this coronavirus, there's serious chance of lo our location being not too far from New York City that we are not gonna wanna go anywhere near a hospital if we get sick because you're not gonna get a ventilator anyway. There's gonna be way too much demand for what's going on. And uh, well, Boy, is it scary. Scary, scary times. I mean, they're still running the buses back and forth from the city. And, uh, you know, they're just bringing these people every day with this virus back here. And spreading it everywhere at supermarkets and everywhere we have to go to deal with these people as well. And it's uh, horrible. We've been quarantined for two weeks, kind of. And uh, been pointless if everybody else is still out and about and getting sick. Needless to say, I decided that I better do something and try to build a ventilator i mean i have enough crap laying around here and smarts to figure this out it's a pretty simple device and sitting around thinking about it i you know drew on some envelopes here but i came up with kind of that's my little guy right there and i want to use a little blow off valve with a low psi basically like a ram pump for pumping water up a hill and it's got a constant pressure flow coming down from a stream which will turn the stream into just instead of water to be air continuously blowing and then we'll have a valve that opens and closes as you need a breath of air. This way it's not a continuous flow and you can get the break and then the release so you can exhale. Uh, hopefully that idea may work. I've come to learn that we need 8 milliliters per kilogram or 5 to 600 milliliters of air on average for a person per burst. So that gives us some kind of velocity and flow number to at least try to shoot for. I don't know how we're going to figure that out, but we'll make it work somehow. Then I came up with this uh, other idea for an air wheel. Basically, I'm going to have some kind of device turn, uh, probably just a disc, maybe a piece of plywood, and I'll cut a slit that's kind of a, uh, oh, instead of just a circle, it'll be almost like an oblong oval maybe. And we'll put that, we'll seal it up, and we'll blow air from one side, and then as this wheel turns, it'll either block the air, or all of a sudden allow it to open for a second, and then the air will be able to go through, and that air will force it through a tube into your lungs, for example. So basically we need to make something that pushes air, and another thing that controls the amount of air for how often you get it, to give you approximately 500-600 milliliters of air per shot. Okay, now how the hell do we do that? Well, sitting around thinking about it, I have... Oh, let me grab this thing here quick. This. An electric fan that I had on one of uh, the first conversion we did on the Subaru conversion for the Volkswagen bus. So, this is a 12-volt fan. It moves a ton of air. Way more than I'm going to need. So, my thought is this is going to be very quiet when this is running. And this can run at all different speeds. It's only 12 volts. So, my next option was okay i have this so basically i think maybe i will take and put this inside a spackle bucket probably and then i can seal it off somehow around the edges and then make one a port on each side of it and that'll at least blow my air from an intake through the box through this and then out into a tube and then that'll have my air this we will hook up to what well, i came up with an idea for a train transformer from electronic tra electric trains i have a couple of them and that goes from 120 volts down to 12 volts, which will power this. It's also going to have a little dial so we can control how much power we put to this fan and how fast this fan spins. With that said, this fan will give us way more air than we need. So maybe I can hook four ports on this and make four ventilators work off of this one thing because we'll have the velocity as long as maybe we have multiple blow off valves as it's needed for each person breathing. Awesome. Then we're all good to go here. So, now that I have an idea of what I'm going to do and what I'm going to use, let me see what else I can scrounge together. I know I have a, a gas masks and other stuff that I can try to make for face masks, and i got to come up with piping and design a little more of this wheel and build this with a motor to control. Basically, the same thing I'm going to use. Oh, I just came up with this right now. For this wheel to turn, I think maybe I'll use a... Uh, power window actuator out of a car. I have an old, this old Subaru that's sitting up there waiting to get scrapped. I'll rip the actuator out of that. And again, that's 12 volts. So if I run another train transformer to that actuator, I can control exactly the speed that this thing rotates. I saw on quite a few uh, things like the real commercial ventilators, 
they have different settings for speeds for how many breaths per minute so we know if you're gonna make this wheel rotate uh, five seconds every breath every five seconds would be 12 breaths per minute so if it goes around one time in five seconds that gives you your 12 breaths per minute comparison to what a commercial ventilator would do and again we could control the speed by just turning up the dial of either one of these two to either give you more airflow or more air pressure cool I think we have it so in theory this should work it's just a matter of spending a little time putting this together and this might save our life I mean I, I don't know like I said I don't want to go to the hospitals around here they're gonna be terrifying they're gonna be big overwhelmed disease pits if you ask me and I would rather take my chances and die here and try to work hard to save my family and everybody else while I can so follow along get to work use your mind and come up with something cool all right well I've been scrounging around coming up with materials for this plan and I, I think I have a really good idea how this is all gonna go together now like I said I did have an old gas mask and it's got some tubing and pipes here I also have another respirator basically I'm thinking if I can feed positive air in a pulse through here or through here people could probably breathe through it so came up with the spackle bucket let me take that off now I lucked out this is a I believe it's a 10 inch fan it fits a Honda Civic and it fits beautifully on the top of this bucket like that and my fan still spins without interference so it's gonna seal pretty well in there and it should work perfectly now the next thing is I'm gonna I found three of these train electronic train transformers for, and uh, as long as I can match the wattage up to the 80 watt draw, I don't know what these are, but I believe they put out 12 volts, so maybe I need to hook two of those together to get enough power to run this fan. But we should have a speed control right there with that. So from there, we're basically going to come up with a pipe, out, probably out the bottom here, and feed that into here somehow. But I have to do a couple other things first. I want to do this air wheel that I was talking about to control the speed at which a pulse of air is going to come through this pipe. Now. I found, I took the old, uh, what do you want to call this thing, from the pool, the filter. So basically, if I take this apart and I pull the filter out of that, this will work feeding one right through to the other and give me a place to connect stuff and a base to hold stuff. So it's not that I actually have to use the filter or anything, but it will make it easy to hook up piping to go from here to say, okay, this is the final run hooked into here and now I only have to go from here oh I don't know hook a couple of these up to get onto here from here to the bucket and that may be my circle now your next hardest thing to do is going to be to find any kind of tubing I luckily have a few of these gas line uh, mounts from the cars trying to hook up the Subaru stuff from a while ago I have two of these Volkswagen uh, bug and bus air cooled uh, tubes for the heat couple pieces of PVC pipe and I have various lengths of that even these I mean geez this and some duct tape you'd be amazed at what you can do to get a tube and this is probably the velocity you're gonna need anyway to carry what you're gonna want for breathing now also a flashlight don't underestimate this flashlight all you got to do is take this off pull these parts apart now when you attach this to here you now have a screwed together connection to hook piping together solid sealed now you can cut and drill and whatever you need to to mount for going the other direction for whatever you want to hook okay perhaps that fits right on there done and you found a way to have a quick connection in between it so anything can be used right now to make stuff happen see what happens see if any of this is going to work i don't know but i did come across another solution and another thought while i was coming up with these train transformers and that would be uh electrolysis so basically if you run DC current into water you can make oxygen and hydrogen out of that now basically hence H2O so but you can't run AC or AC so if you just plug into your house into that it's not gonna work right you have to run a DC transformer so you got to go from AC to DC and a train transformer will do it it'll give you a little bit it's very slow I remember playing with it as a kid it was a very mild amount of oxygen compared to the hydrogen and yes we would like the uh, you could easily tell which one's which because the hydrogen will go pop and the oxygen will make a flame turn a different color or a, uh, 
toothpick will glow if you put it into like a test tube full of the oxygen. And you'll be able to see coming off of two electrodes, if you hook them up to here and you have the positive and negative going into a pail of water, from there it'll make power off of that. I mean, you could add more to those electrodes, uh, like graphite would be a great conductor. They used to have them inside batteries. I don't believe they have them in there anymore, it's some other chemical. But uh, we'll come up with some solution if I get that far. But along those lines, I did come across these chargers, which were for scooters. Now, I don't, I don't know exactly much about them, but they put out 24 volts. I'm assuming that that's 24 volts DC. So that'll give me a whole lot more snot than these transformers if I need it. And I won't really be able to control the power from this, but if it's just going into a pail of water to make oxygen, and then from that pail, we're pulling the oxygen out of that and pumping it through this system, just to give us a slight boost of oxygen. I mean, we're not talking much, but any little bit, I'm sure is gonna make a, a difference. And what do you care if you're running all this and it's cooking away and you're pumping out the hydrogen, who cares? You're stealing the oxygen, helping you breathe, keeping you alive. So maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I'm gonna just try to keep putting this together and see what I come up with. So follow along, keep working on it and scrounge around your materials. Don't underestimate anything. And oh, all of a sudden you realize why you kept all this junk for all these years, but uh, fingers crossed this works. All right, well, we're moving right along on this, and I'm real excited now. I have my little lovely wife here, and I'm showing her kind of what I'm up to. She probably thinks I'm nuts, but it's actually really coming together, and it's cool. So this is the power window motor from inside the Subaru roof that we did the bus modification with. Now, what I did is this is a power transformer from an electric train set. So we plug this in and hook this up. Now I have an electronic speed control, and if you watch, I can go forward at various speeds and then slow it back down to go as slow as we need to go. Basically really slow. Now, if you look at the speed this is now going, if we can make a wheel out of that, turning at this speed, because somehow I'll attach this to the center of this and make this rotate. If this goes around one revolution, in four to five seconds there's your breathing pattern right there so i mean if we need really fast we have it but we don't need it and we can easily control the speed of that just with junk we have laying around in our house now we're going to do the same thing with hooking up this electric fan here to blow the air through so did you see how that worked yeah. pretty cool right for this some stupid little idea mm -hmm. so basically i'm going to take and mount this ah, nuts um, hold this transformer here for just a second. I'm going to mount this pretty much like that. And it's ironic that this lines up almost perfectly. And luckily this is made in Japan and not in China. I feel a lot better about that. And we can mount this in there. I'll probably use this little coupler here mounted on top of that. And then I'll sleeve it with probably a piece of rubber or something and then figure out how I can attach this to that. Then I will whittle this disc down so it fits on the inside diameter of this bucket. And uh, then this will get mounted in there with a hole cut like that. And as this rotates around, all of a sudden when this hole lines up with this hole that we cut here, the air will be allowed to come through at whatever speed we set this up to do. And that is... Oh, that's exciting to actually see your stuff that you're thinking and coming up with in your head coming together. And uh, unfortunately, one of the transformers we had was bad. So hopefully this other one will work and it'll run this fan because we really do need to have that variable speed control. That is the crucial element of making all this work. So go raid your kids' toys and try to find any of these transformers you can find. Thanks. Okay, well, here we go. So this one is running that at our variable speed. And then we turn this one here. And now we have variable speed control of the flow of whatever we need to move our air. So, okay, now we gotta go faster with this, no problem. We can adjust whatever we need on this one. And let's say, okay, that's too much velocity. Let's turn this down to just a little bit. And you know, that that's, plan's working. So now I need to hook the bucket up to the fan and mount that up here on the top and uh, hopefully this whole, whole plan will come together and maybe this will save some lives here this is a pretty simple design awesome instead of using this blue one that I had for this cover I went and got another one out because I figured that one fits this bucket perfectly 
So I took and I cut the ring out of this as best as I could to get that, you know, round. Now, let me put a... Uh, this thing is going to need to fit way down at the bottom of that perfectly. So you're going to want to put a hole in it and put a uh, screw on the end of that before you even try. Okay, let me try this again here. With a screw on the end of that, now you can fit it down in there and get it to fit. I still have a little bit more polishing to go to get that to fit tightly. Now this is going to spin inside there. This is also going to be mounted on this actuator here, which if you see we turn it on and it goes at the speed we need it to. The hardest thing I've been coming across is trying to figure out how do I attach this to this to this. So what I came up with is a sleeve that fit over top of that cog that's inside there with this uh, piece of hose and it was like a three quarter inch hose wedged over a seven eighth inch gah, cog. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that up with some uh, hot glue. And then when that's done, I'm going to smush this back down inside that. I mean, this is a pretty good. Okay. So I have our motor mounted in our bucket with the shaft. And now what I'm doing is making sure that this will fit directly inside there. And I saw a really cool way to do this. Because I need to spin this as straight as possible, so I have this mounted on the drill, and that spins, and this coffee can is setting the height with the sandpaper to do the final curving of it. And it's kind of tricky. Maybe you could see here. And that, now that, I don't know if you got all that, but that should be showing the high spots and just taking off the high spots. Rather difficult to do, but it's working and it's given me about as round of an edge as I'm going to get to fit as smoothly as possible inside that down at the bottom end. And you can see there's that much taper to the bucket as you go down. So just keep working it a little bit at a time. I'll take that out and make sure it fits perfectly and then put it together and we're moving along. Okay, so I found a piece of PVC pipe fitting here, and it's threaded on one end. The key with that is make sure you drill a hole that is tight and slowly make it a little larger and a little larger so that it is snug. And I mean, I can hold the whole thing up there. I didn't even use any adhesive or anything yet to seal that. So I'll probably glue that in when I'm all done, or I won't because right now that's one less glue you're breathing or dealing with. This hose happens to fit directly over top of that. So that'll make that nice and easy to seal that. At that point, well, now you can kind of see this coming together here. Oh, I don't want to dent those ends. Okay, let me leave that over there for now. However, my next point, now that we have this, I'm going to take and lower this down in there. I'm going to put the disc this direction so these ridges are facing up. It'll probably seal the best. Now, I had to get that other hole in there first. And, uh, hmm, it should have went on that a little better. Maybe I need a slightly bigger hole, but I want that to fit pretty well. Oh, there we go. It's snugging. That should work pretty good for now. Now what I'm trying to do, as you can see, this is fitting almost perfectly in here. There's like the slightest little space of maybe less than an eighth of an inch all the way around it. You want that to seal as best you can. I'm going to just guess. I... <laughs> Sound like I know what I'm talking about. This is total and totally an experiment and prototype here. I've never made one of these before. But what I'm trying to do now is find a spot that I can line this up and make a whole a mark. So now that I have that, I will take and mark this with my marker. Now what I'll do is I'll take that back out and I'll cut that hole out. So as that rotates, that hole will eventually go around and line up with this hole. And when that does, you can see the little circle mark right there in the light where that's going to line up. Now when that happens, that's going to give us our pulse rate. So this has to go all the way around and then boom, it blows the air through. And then it builds up and even though there's nowhere for this air to go, all of a sudden, boom, it pushes through when the holes line up. Hopefully that makes your lungs expand and gives you the pressure that you're looking for. I mean, we'll have the flow rate from the fan and we'll have this control the impulse and the pressure that you're looking for. And hopefully this works. I, I don't know, I've never seen anything with the, this kind of rotational device. Everything seems to be a pump and a clamps and a bag trying to make those ventilators or work, but 
this just struck me. Kind of like the ramp pump idea and using this. So hopefully this works and we'll see. And God, I can't wait to see what this does. Okay, so as you can see, we have our pipe coupler and our little hole in there. Everything hooked up. And now we bolted this together. I put a wing nut on there so it's nice and easy to tighten that up and adjust it as I need to. And I will now give it a little bit of power here. And look at that. Around that goes. And then all of a sudden, right, boom, it'll blow the air right through on that hole. I decided to go small with the hole for now. You can see the size of it to line up with the other one. I can always make it bigger. But it might be a real pain to make this smaller. And that might give me the velocity and shot right there for that period of time. Again, if we need to breathe faster, boom. Boom. Or boom. 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 Or we could really slow it down. Boom. Depending on what your body's requiring and how many people are breathing off this machine. It should be able to work for a few people. I think this is actually really going to work. This is really cool. I can't believe I came, saw this in my head this morning to do this and, well, we're moving along. Alright, well here's the moment of truth. The wife is down here to check it out too. Now, we have the fan mounted and what I was going to do originally was I saved this bucket lid so I could use this. However, the part that I cut off of the red part below worked perfect as the edge here. So that gave me the good edge. It put this away and it gave me the spacing I need. And if you look through there, you can see the hole on the other side along with this lining up. So first thing we're going to do is we'll turn this on a little bit and get a little airflow through there. Wow. Would you look at that? All right. Okay. I don't know what this is going to do here. But uh, it's not moving yet. It should be a little bit of flow through that, I'm sure. Yeah, now. Now we'll turn on this other one. And if you look through here, watching. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got too much tension on that, I think. Or it just has to turn a couple times. All right, look at that. It's working pretty well. So now. Will that put out a pulsating burst of air? Let me turn it up a little bit more. I'm trying to see how much... I mean, I could feel it flowing. It's hard to see. I don't know if that's enough or we'd want more or what, but every time that goes around, it lines up. Do you feel any kind of pulsing? Um, I feel air. Let me I mean, it's this. definitely pushing air and we can turn it up even yeah. more. That's pretty neat. I think we need a bigger hole in there. Holy cow, the moment of truth. I mean, it is uh, four o'clock maybe. I've been working on this since 10.30 or so. And basically what I've come up with is this right here. And if we scan around and take a look at it all, you see the gas mask, it's hooked up to a tube. This is the only piece of tape I used on this whole thing. And this was in there well, I just wanted to make sure it was sealed up good. The window actuator and fan. And if you look inside there, you can see we have the disc turns and let's turn this thing on here. So if we turn the fan on, I think that's the way we want it to go, right? Yeah, we want it to go that way to push the air through the other side. So we can set this at whatever speed we need to run. Let's set it up pretty high for now. See how this works. Now, if we look through, let's turn this back part on. And that's telling us how many breaths per se a minute. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll go a little slower. Probably right there is more where we'd want to be. And it should be pushing air through this here. And uh, let's see if this is doing that through this mask.
And there it is. I'm trying to see if I notice a difference. I need more air through it. It's still not pushing. I mean, I can hear it coming through. Just want to show you what kind of little bit of uh, pressure you can see. It's it's blowing a good amount of air right through this tube. I disconnected it so you could get an idea. It's kind of hard to show how much air would actually be flowing through, but it's moving it. And. Uh, Hey, I tell you, this is something other than, uh, yeah, I can feel it blowing on me. So, Mr. Brian's Amazing World, you check this out and make sure you uh, like and subscribe to this kind of stuff because we're going to try to save your life. And we're going to keep tweaking on this. We're going to add some oxygen feeds to it and see if we can get that to work better. I have a feeling that I'm going to need to upgrade this transformer to something a little more powerful to handle the flow. At least, it, in theory, everything here is working. And when this was hooked up, it is easier to breathe through that than it is normally. So it's working. It's pumping through. And good God, put your mind to something and go out and try to save your own life. Because don't count on somebody else to do it. And uh, give it a shot. Please like, subscribe. Any comments you have, I want to hear them. And geez, we built this all with stuff laying around the house. I mean, this came out of a Honda Civic, which is a really small little radiator. And God, we had the gas mask for years, pool parts and hoses, that was the biggest thing, and then a spackle bucket, and then these train transformers, which, and the electric motor for the wind window actuator. Other than that, I mean, you could come up with anything you want to try to make this work. It's really uh, entirely up to you, and it's kind of neat. All you do is you just turn that, and you can see the thing go around inside. Pretty simple little design. I can go either direction, and then when it lines up, dumps the air right down through the hose. And that'll give you your pulse of your breath. And you should be able to time it, and hopefully it works. We just have to adjust a couple things so we get the volume that correct that we're looking for. And make sure this thing can run for hours. I hope you liked it. This is uh, got a matter of six hours or so. Came up with this idea, put it all together, and made a prototype. I want to get a video out as soon as I can so you know you can start building your own because you don't have a whole lot of time and take what you can get and do what you can do and good luck be safe and be smart anything else you want to add there hun <laughs> this is really incredible really incredible it's just garbage it's also very quiet six hours yeah very well I've been busy quiet. I haven't been able to do anything else gorgeous day and I'm in here building this contraption because I think this might be very important for our family Very. and I mean I knew this gas mask might come in handy one day who would have thought but uh, I kind of always knew it would be to fight something Chinese related. But... <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, man, that's scary, what? scary, Wait, scary because stuff. Because it came from China. Yes, yes, it did. <laughs> but anyway, oh, good luck, everybody. Take care and thank Stay you. Stay safe. Stay safe. And go try to build something. Go try to make any difference you can. I mean, there's a million different ways you could do this. Anything will work. Just whatever your mind comes up to with is worth it. My thing that really got me with the ram pump idea was this valve in here. It kind of dumps air the same way a ram pump dumps water. And I figured if it was nice and soft and easy enough to breathe through, it could be positive pressure and any excess will go right out of that that you can't handle breathing in yourself. So, should work. Cool.